Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are for what I think is what? Episode 56 of Survival Challenge. And yep, yeah, here we are with a little bit of food because our cows need a little bit of topping up. We will be skipping into May at some point in this episode, but first of all what we need to do is do a lot of spraying. Because we've got the herbicide to do on our normal fields. And then, in the last episode, if you've missed it, we spent five million pounds on a brand new vineyard, so... And actually, we spent a bit more, we did, because we decided to buy, come out of here, this tractor, the Lizard 6205 T55. Tractor speed. So yeah, in the last episode, we had one on the, so it was like a black one. Standard configurations and all that. This one has apparently got slightly more narrow tire, so it'll be easier just about for the vineyards. Yeah, it'll be just about easier. And also, we bought the chisel plow for it. Basically, it's like a cultivator where all you got your three chisel blades, and then it's got a little roller on top. And I've kept it here with all our other equipment and that, so. Yeah, that is good. So, if we go to the aerodrome, this is all of our grape production. So, this is where we process the grapes into its subsidiary products, including oil production. And from there, we can get grape lever or leverette that can be used to make, uh, was it shoes and all that? Shoes and belts. I think we established like yeah so yeah great leverette from the grape must and that will come from the main production itself as a byproduct and yet the grape seed can be used to get oil. Fairness we maybe should have done uh, some olives get some olive oil but don't spend money on two bits of equipment on that so I think for now Actually, what we'll do is just turn that off for the time being. Because actually, that needs to be distributed. So then we can start doing our closed production. Do we have any fabric pallets yet? No, because we have just put these down. But yeah, once it's in the tier store, we can get shoes or belts. So that is a 2 to 1, and that is a 1 to 5 ratio. But when we did the math, the shoes are the better option because you get about 14 grand for that. And the uh, grape must to leverette is a 1 to like 1.1, 1 1.2. 1 and yeah, so when you go and process all this, I'll do some raisins because I want cereal. I want to do cereal. I haven't done cereal for ages since. I'll see if I to remember things like Compton Farm since we did Grapes Last. Because yeah, if we go to the factory here, one of the products we've got here is honey. I've got 29,600 litres. Apologies there. So yeah, as I was saying, 29,000 litres in there and we've got 15,000 litres in the big bag at the moment. That's one of the things we've been doing lately is also with our productions is put everything into big bags so that is that I've go back into to John Deere here uh, we need to pick up what's it uh, the Bowser I think that's over here yeah the Bowser because we've got milk and in like the cleanup of the yard area I Remove the dairy production for the chocolate because I thought the farm factory can produce chocolate. But apparently, no. So, what we're going to do is pretty much put the chocolate production back in. And yeah, so we'll be producing the chocolate and then we'll transfer it over. And actually, you know what? Not too much money. I was going to buy a bunch of milk. And then just use that because yeah, it's like the cows produce a lot of milk. Don't get me wrong. At some point, I want a thousand cattle. Like with the series, I I 
try and do stuff differently, try not to do the same things over and over again. Like the grapes, like the firms with the grapes, I've been waiting since what, episode 10, 15, before about mentioned grapes, when I first mentioned it, so. But yeah, I think, honestly, the series can keep on going for a little bit longer. Honestly, I'm not sure how much longer, but. Because plan is, Court Farms. Or Court Farm, not Court Farms. Court Farm, that's going to continue for a foreseeable future. I think with that, I can easily get 100 episodes out of that, so. I do mean easily, without many issues on that. Uh, by Spring, that series, unfortunately, with the new update that came out recently, even when you don't update the map, even just leave it un not updated, it still requires free mods, and with that alone, not even updating the map, like, just update is available, but you don't do nothing about it, it messes the save file up, and it's just crashes, all sorts of stuff, like, I've spoken to several people on Mr. B's Discord server, I spoke to Heavy Metal Gaming, I've spoken to Goggle Pop, I even spoke to Mr. B himself, because I went to mention him about an update about it, because I knew he was doing a series with Mr. CP and that, with that sort of tutorial guide to farming, like guide Mr. CP and that, and basically, long story short, it's not used way more, like seriously, because the map go, went under a vast change, it's basically a by spring 2.0, from what I've heard from, I can't remember who mentioned it, someone in Mr. P's Discord server, a normal member, who's part of Irish Connors Discord server and that, and basically, he wanted it to be another map, like basically by Spring 2.0, a separate version, but for whatever reason, Giants didn't allow it, so basically, this huge update had to be part of the same update, the same map, can't be a separate map for whatever reason. Why that is, I do not know, and honestly, I don't get it with Giants. With things like that, I don't get it. Because, what map was it? Fruiting. There's Fruiting. And then there's Fruiting 2K23. And as far as I can gather, I think you can buy as well as see Mapmaker, and it's basically exactly the same. So, why can we have Fruiting and Fruiting 2K23? But we can't have by Spring and, I don't know, by Spring 2.0 or by Spring 24, 2K23, whatever it is. Like, honestly, with that, I don't get it. I knew the update was coming for a while in that, so in fairness, I did know it was coming for a while, but... Yeah, I just don't get it with that. It's, and, it's, and it's ruined it, like, for many people on consoles, like... Me, personally, I've had, what, if I had to guess, roughly at the time? before I do a new game save was in the realms of around I don't know, 200, 250 hours? Actually it was about 200 hours it was. It was 200 hours there and I've got about I think I'm hitting 250 at the moment here on No Man's Land. Actually we'll have a look now. Uh, where is it to? Your stats. Yeah, we're crushing on to 250 hours Court Farm, I've got close to 300 hours on that map at the moment. Sounds stupid, I can do, but I think I just love Court Farm in that. I know, I mean, I generally do. But yeah, so basically, TODR is that series ain't gonna be continuing. And yeah, I am absolutely gutted about that, like, generally gutted. Because it was such a good thing it was, like, the map, like, by spring, such a good thing, and, yeah, I know, uh, what was it, I can, I don't know, do another series, or redo the map, and to my exact details of what I wanted, but, yeah, with that, the problem with that is, uh, like, when you're someone like me, with a lot of my let's plays, 
there's a certain point I changed the map to where it is no longer pretty much recognizable for what it was. Because, yeah, I've personally made choices and that changed certain huge aspects of it. And, yep, yeah, if there is, yep, yeah, that's my own decision. I chose to do those things, but, yeah, still, it gets to the point where, honestly, if I was going to redo the map myself, and I mean, redo it myself, it will really take me best part of. 12, 15, between 12 and 24 hours. If I had to, like, nail it down, whack up some music, whack up some YouTube videos or podcasts here and there, generally speaking, that would take me, yeah, about 12 hours at least to redo the map to how I want it. Yeah, everyone's entitled to their own opinions and that. And that, I don't know to respect it, but me personally, yeah, it, just, it wasn't worth it. Ferris was that series. Uh, with the last episode, that basically the thumbnail and the title, Final Harvest Financial Issues, would be the penultimate year. Because the plan was do everything the corn, potatoes, sunflower, and all that. And then the final year, do a big old harvest of potatoes poplars, wheat or whatever, and then end the series there, so realistically, about maybe 5 to 10 episodes left, 5 episodes, easily 10 episodes if I stretched it out, and yeah, unfortunately, didn't work out, and that's the things with life, sometimes shit happens, I you know, I'm not typically known for profanity in that, but that's me personally, outside of YouTube and that. I say these things as it is. If you know me personally, I know some people who watch my videos know me personally outside of the YouTube realm space of things, and they know exactly what I'm like. Because they're listable. And just, yeah, I say it as it is sometimes, and if it offends people, eh, suck up, Buttercup. <laughs> No, I mean, generally, that is my attitude sometimes with a lot of things is. I don't like it, there's a door and that. But, that's just me personally, and... Yeah, a few things going forward into 2024. Yeah, I'm seriously going to do a lot of things next year now, like, with the channel and that. I want to grow it, I want to expand it. I found it since my return and that. Watch some hours. At the point again where I'm almost remontized because with like the six months of absence I was, I basically was getting residual views and a couple of hours here and there every month, about 50, yeah about 100 hours I'd say on average a month, just for doing no uploads and that from my previous videos. And yeah it was good and that but basically with that YouTube came along and took away the partner program for me, which is fair enough. I do totally get that, but again, with one of those things, it is what it is. And yeah, we're going to be on course to get monetized again in early 2024. That's what I can say at the moment. But yeah, I want to like, do more different things. Not rather just let's plays. I love doing let's plays. There are some videos I have been planning on doing, I've mentioned on doing, but I've never got around to doing it because I'm working out, I find a new job. And yeah, and all sorts of other stuff. But come end of the year, into 2024, there's going to be new things. I want to do mod reviews and that. Put my own spin on mod reviews. Do like mod showcases. Like, let's say, if we get, I don't know, 100 mods in a week. I take these 100 mods and I pick the top 10 or whatever, or anything in particular worth shouting out, both new mods and updates, because as we've seen, even with updates, there are huge ups updates, including like Ice Brain. That's what I feel do, a Ice Brain 2.0 map tour. But it is changed, the map itself has changed fundamentally. 
yeah, that sort of things, but as I've been ranting on, so I've been getting hammed up for a while, and one of those things I may do from time to time in that is not so much racking tea like I'm doing today, but just a bit of that casual chit chatness whilst we're doing stuff. But yeah, so we put down the production, we're done with the more high, sp high speed one, I'll admit to that. Rather than have multiples of the same one, just have it all in one facility. Oh yeah, I'm gonna load this up with sugar. You got the money in that. I didn't want to spend the money in that on sugar. I was half tempted to buy, you know, the cheap sugar beets and sugar cane. But I thought, no, that is a bit. That's a bit too cheaty, so. Give me a few moments whilst I get this loaded up. And then we'll fill. Um, yeah, we'll start filling everything up, I think. And there we go, 74,000 years of sugar, because we've got 72,000 years strapped, and you've got another 2,000 years on top. So yeah, I just thought, yeah, let's keep on buying. I'm sure if we purchase like, one more pallet, that will be the pallet limit. But anyway, so... Uh, that's in the way. No problems, we'll just give it the odd boot. There we go. And I'm not sure how much this is going to actually take. Try to pause and see, but not lag spikes at the moment, so got no clue. There we go. That's it, that's the one I want. I was like, yeah, I was absolutely lagging like hell that was, so... Yeah, it's going to take pretty much all of this. Yeah, all of this. Yeah, that's fair enough. But I'm not far side of the way. It does what it needs to do now. And actually, is there a chocolate required? I'm guessing so. The farm factory, because if there is, I may remove the just transport the chocolate manually because otherwise, nope, wheat, barley, nut, eggs, butter, raisins. So, yeah, actually, no, so we could just produce the chocolate and that's how it's distribution. So, that'll go to Donut Factory, and I think that's it because we don't use, yeah, don't use. Not for there, so yes, Rafi, is there any other productions we got that requires chocolate? No, actually, funny enough, that's the only product we can produce that even has one production to transport to, so what? Well, fair enough. That is fine by me, so yeah, I've been waffling on now, and let's get to the actual goal of this episode, which is to spray in, so we got this spray out here and there we go eradicating all the weeds and this literally will not take long to do because it was it's like a 48 meter boom in that we just have two of these one would do like you know use it control ourselves here and another one with the worker on so yeah we've got this we've got the cotton field to do we've got the sugar king field to do and a couple of strips from the sugar beet field that needs to do in. But the sugar beet field doesn't require too much. Actually, once we get onto the dam section, we can have a little quick look here. But also, I'll skip till May because I want to see if we can then spray herbicides on the vineyards or the vines. So there we go, that is that top section done. Now on the return, I think we'll require two passes. Yep, two passes going to be required here, so... Anyway, so that's it's going on straight-ish. So you have to go to our weeds. Weeds everywhere. Sugar King Field, just a couple of patches where we forgot. So yeah, overall, not too bad, so... 
I think best way to get it done. Sorry about that, I was still wake up there, like, up and trying to speak at the same time. So yeah, I think the best way to get it done is via those short time naps, and this one should be about two minutes in your time, folks, for me. About 20 minutes or so, I'll say, give or take. If that even. But yeah, let's get all this done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. done with the weed work and if we have a look here the weeding has been eradicated and we're just going to work now to do the fertilizer work on parts where we have missed so actually was that the bit we did preventive spraying worked or what because apparently that didn't work when we looked at the vines and that but well, I don't know Honestly, it's been a while since I've done vineyard work, so I'm just taking it steady as we go along. We did have a second spur to help us, and in fairness, I wish we kept that to help with down here. We'll just get one going down here, but oh well. Ah, actually, wait a minute. We do have another sprayer somewhere. Do I leave it up here at shop? No. We're gonna need you for divine work. Well, maybe not necessarily, but I'm pretty sure we got bought one recently, didn't we? Because we had one of these for ages, so we should get a work on that going. So, oh, it's not lost anymore. 
Yep, yeah, I'm just gonna top this up with milk. Yeah, I meant like an excess of chocolate, so I've stopped the use of chocolate. And yeah, I'm just gonna fill this up. And then we need to take milk over to the donut production, because that has run out of milk and eggs. Stuff over there. set that to distribution since now we've got lots of butter we don't need so much butter being produced so go to butter here yeah don't need that amount of butter so because you yeah, are missing uh what's it wool here as well so we get some wool transferred over And yeah, we've got excess off bar here. That we'll deal with in a bit. Okay, so that's got all the milk it needs. Milk, yep, 7,000 years is a low amount of milk it requires. How about over here? Does this require milk? 167,000 years? No. That is five milk. Well, we'll chuck the rest of milk in here, sure. There we go. Yeah, I actually used John Deere for this. For the fertilizer work. But yeah, next focus is going to be on the herbicide work on the vineyards. I want to get those weeds and red heads. And I don't think are solid enough to go over the vines. If it was, I would have used that. And I have looked at it and tested and it doesn't work. Because can I just have in a 48 meter boom sub propel spray going down the vines, between the vines and that. And that would be nice. So where is it to? Not here, so must be around the corner. Why don't you... F ah, that's wood ch are you wood chips? Ah, you are wood chip. Oh, I said that cell. Oopsie, my bad. Guess we've got a sprayer here somewhere? No, so it must be... on the other side? There we go, I knew it was one of three areas. It's like this should be the only area that's got one piece of equipment besides from traders. Come on, get out of there please. Thank you. All. And now we need to fill this up with fertilizer. There ain't much left in the one where we've got some in storage, so let's go and buy some. So paddits. Look at fertilizer, and we'll just purchase a bunch for the time being. There we go. I think, yeah, that should be enough for the time being. So yeah, just give me a few moments whilst I get this filled up, and then we'll get this work work on the way, doing the other fields. Then we can look at moving stuff over to where it needs to be. And all that other good stuff. There we go, filled up, and yeah, get the work on the way. Then we'll get the tank handler, we'll get loose butter moved over. And yeah, try to think what else to put to. Actually, if I was bar, could go straight back into the uh, what's it production for the whatever in the farm factory. And then, yeah, we'll move the wall over to, again, the farm factory, and some over to the brand new tier store. Now, uh, why am I going this way? No idea why, right? because we need to start going this way. And I think, in fairness, for once, we'll start the worker going this side. So, let's have a few U turns, I admit. But it should be fine, so 
I'll just do it to the part where I'm past the chicken huts. Because we may have the odd little tap. No, actually I was perfectly aligned. But he but yeah, so done. There we go. Workers on the way. Go to the sore. Grab a Tayanzer. And now we'll just grab the wool. That's by the sheep. Yeah, I think we've got about two days worth stocked up. So yeah, like I said we'll split between two more production because we need to keep that loose production because yeah, like this here we earned a million quid from the clothes. Now technically we've got a third clue factory on the way. Obviously there's no excess cotton or anything, so and those productions will run out eventually of the cotton. That's what I think. Got a little bit of cotton on the way, just keep that close production on the way, keep it going, keep it topped up here and there. And yes, technically we're still growing our own cotton. But still, just that bit of extra money coming in. Which, in fairness, we don't need. This should stop all of our productions and just focus on farming. We'll be fine. I'll spend a million quid on to those big spreaders that we, well, one we're using at the moment. I'll get two of those for a million quid. Get a separate spreader for the vineyards. Like the Oxbow one we've got, because there is a third fertilizer option. And that is what core of the mill itself. Even after all that, it's still be good, so but hey, if you make money, I'm not gonna see no to make money. Just unfortunately at the moment it is a very dull grey day. I'm not skipping ahead a month because we need to do the cornfield today and I'm thinking I've got purchase plot through five. Get rid of those trees there. But yeah, next episode we'll do the corn here. There'll be a decent chunk size of field. I'm not too fast on elevation and that, so I just want to get those trees removed. Why not do those trees as well? Will remain to be seen. But yeah, as long as it ain't a huge elevation change then. The what I can pretty much live with it. So I think if I was, we should have used this area for cotton or something because this is a lovely voice messing up there. That is a hugely underutilized area. So there we go. Let's get this empties. There we go. So yeah, you know what? That's fine. That's more than enough. And yep, yeah, let's quickly go and sell these. Even heck it, we sell the clothes. I don't want to mess around too much now. It's here now, sorry spawn, just can't bother to mess around with the bag system and that we've got going at the moment. So yeah, let's quickly get sold. And then we'll resume with the herbicide work and all that other good stuff.
we go. We are done. Just ask Pat going on. Just a short bit doing us. We're just waiting on. But yeah, so we've got X moved over and that. We moved the X back to just one point. Same with a pallet for the clothes from the main. Our main source of clothes production. So yeah, we got like 8,000 litres of pancakes, almost 12,000 litres of donuts, 8,000 litres of butter, and 6,000 litres of loaves. So, all this we're going to be selling. Okay, work is completed at the bottom field, and apparently it's done well on that, by the looks of it. I'll have a little look at it in a sec. Downside with this area here, it's yeah, it's like a three point turn. But we do it so we can get everything sold at once. But I'd rather have one big figure than a bunch of little figures, so yeah, basically, you're at nine mil now, anyway. So let's see how much money we make. Oh, no. So that was 217 grand. So, yeah, not too bad there. So, yeah, just under 227 grand here there. So, yeah, I'll say that was fairly decent of us. So, how's the worker done? Actually, in fairness, not too bad. Yeah, in fairness, not too bad. We've got the worker doing this bit here. I have to do a little correction there, but... Yeah, that's the thing with the workers at. Their sole purpose is not necessarily to do things in its entirety, it's to help us out. So... I'll say the worker's done that. So now... All we need to do now to round off the episode is... Do the herbicide work. In the next episode, we will spray some of the vines and that. Because it does need spraying, or if I get like one of the brettles or the Amazon fertilizer spreaders, put a bit of solid fertilizer on it. Well, I'm just you know, doing it the most hardest way possible. Come on, there we go. correct ourselves there. There we go. And the worker apparently is completed. I uh, know not. I think it's because of the trees there, but... I know it's going to have issues when it comes to turn around there. But that, that can be dealt with a bit of a... Now I need to go to... Well, should we use the Landini or... No, oh, okay, we use Zandini. I haven't really used this as much. Especially with the plowing work and that. But it was 0.7 hours, that was from the fertilizing we've done, first of all. So, now we've got herbicide loaded up. So, yeah, let's do a couple of test strips along down here. And uh, remember, we only need to go down every other vine. And yeah, there we go, it's definitely working. Is it every other vine, or what? If it's every vine, it should be. It should be every other one, right? Again, I'm confused about this, but what we'll do is do a bit of a comparison. Let's do one more row, so we'll do this one here. Just we're spraying the actual vines themselves. The bit in the middle ain't too much of a problem. But if we need to vine every section, uh, that's going to take some time to do. So, alright, there we go. We compare, so... 
needs spray in. And we're getting the yield bonus. Saying it needs spray in though. I think it's gotta be every row. Right? Every row? Yeah, it's gotta be every row. Because we got up here where we haven't touched it. 87%, so. Dang it! Oh, I was I was really hoping we could just stick with, you know, every other vine in that, but it looks like it's every vine we got to do. Lovely! That is oh, absolutely splendid. Anyway, it is what it is. But yeah, I wish we had. Since we've got this here, there we go. Just unload a couple of pallets there. And we do have a yeah toolbox here. So, we say, let's so try this Hero Sprayer. I want to test this, because if this speeds this up, then... So in theory, it can do multiple vines. So yeah, we'll get this filled up a sec. So, alright, so how does this work? I'm guessing... I'm guessing we've got to go down the middle. Like so. Wow. That. If it does four vines in a row, if it does four in one go, so we'll make sure we're going at the right speed. Four or five miles an hour. You want this? I can deal with because we're doing four sections in a row. We are. If we did one, we're doing it at most 15 miles an hour, so this is far quicker. That is, yeah, far quicker than anything else. And, yeah, that is interesting. That is rather really interesting to know now. Okay, alright, going a bit. Need to keep on the vines because yeah, I don't want to go to one side in that. For now, we'll just waste a bit by going up this section here, but as long as we didn't hit those steps, yeah, there we go, we're good. Yeah, this is really making it is. A bit of a fence in there. Because, yeah, I think, in fairness, this is going to speed things up. So let me get this row here done, and then we'll turn around and come back down the other way. And there we go, coming back the other way side down. And, yeah, it is working. It's going to take some time, yeah, probably. But, you know what, I don't mind that. Yeah, we're doing four vines in a row. One, two, three, four. We're doing, so yeah, we're speeding things up. So yeah, I think the best way to get this done is a little short time lapse once more. So yeah. Oops. Well, as I was looking at the side panel, to put the time back up, I've lost control there. So yeah, that's going to be the thing is keep this on track. For in cab, that's the thing, it's not an issue. It's like, down there, just keep it in the middle, and we're fine. Outside, just keep the Oxbow logo in the middle of this centre vine here, and we should be golden. Yeah, I know we're missing bits here and there. Worst case scenario, we'll just go over those in the end, but yeah, 
let's get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here. There we go, we are done. And yeah, overall, it wasn't too bad, it didn't take too long to do. And yeah, we got around and everything has been fertilized. Yes, a couple of spots here and there we've missed, but overall, we're looking very good. So if we look at the Vermin score, so yeah, that's like the mulching we didn't do, so that's fine. But yeah, there is that section over there that I'm guessing that used to be a field in that or something because maybe it needs pruning. I'll give it a go now, I'll just give it a little quick test. Actually, what I'll do first of all is quickly top this up with some fuel. So, how much have we got? 3 litres. So, what was that? Uh, yeah, 42 litres for 52 quid. Yeah, not too bad. But yeah, so we've got this double pruner. In. Yeah, so hopefully should be able to do two rows of this, so find out these at vines, at least two here. It's even going to be wide enough.
doesn't look wide enough. So that's unfold, that's Zorich. Ah, there we go. But yeah, do we need to prune these? Ah, right, fair enough. Because I think this used to be a ploughed field. Ah, that makes sense, so... Are now going to get weeds popping up in these areas? Or what? You missed some bits there, but... Alright, fair enough. Just go and fold these. That's the damn side, it's because where they exactly are. It is going to cause us some issues, so. These two here in front of us, so and there we go. We are pruning. I thought about it, like even last episode. I thought, do we need to prune these? And it turns out, yes, we do. So maybe behind the growth state. We are technically still the planting window for grapes, so. Even if it's October, like the end of October, when we can harvest these bits here, that's fine. Like, <coughs> in fairness, yeah, I'm not fussed about it. Yeah, just got to be careful on missing bits, but yeah, overall, we'll get these done. We'll do it perhaps off camera in between episodes or something. There we go. But yeah, so next time. We got some big plans coming. We got to power up. Oh, where is it? To 35 over there. May include devouring some trees and that, most likely. But yeah, so we we'll get the corn in. And really, I think apart from after that, we'll start skipping ahead a few months. No skip until the summer and that. I know we got we'll have size work to do in April. Technically the grass is right now, not size work, hay work. Yeah, keep missing bits, absolutely hate that. But yeah, what hay to do in that. We may do that in the next episode, it depends on how things go. Or at least start the um, mowing process of it, but yeah. Anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to number though. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, very cheers to you. Hope you nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer Evil Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.